This is Dr. Michael Tapper from Lenox Hill Hospital and the Hofstra Northwell School of Medicine in New York. Joining you today from the Infectious Disease Society of America meeting uh, taking place in New Orleans. Uh, we refer to this affectionately as ID Week, and it is a good long week of meetings. And I'm joined today by Jennifer King from the Marshfield Clinic. She's an epidemiologist at the Marshfield Clinic mm -hmm. in Wisconsin. And we're here to talk about some of the interesting changes that have taken place in recommendations for childhood vaccination uh, for influenza as very well timed because this meeting is taking place in the latter part of October. <clears throat> and uh, although we haven't seen terribly much flu activity yet uh, in terms of epidemic flu activity, it's coming as it always does, whether it comes in November or it comes in February or March. So I think this is a good time to talk about some significant changes in the CDC recommendations for, for a vaccination, particularly with respect to the live attenuated vaccinations. The study that we did actually looked at inactivated influenza vaccine and the response among children who were previously vaccinated with either IIV or LAIV. Um, and we found that the response was larger, uh, post-vaccination response GMTs were larger in LAIV recipients or unvaccinated recipients compared to pri pre prior season IIV recipients. Um, we don't really directly address the LAIV question, um, but we, we did find that although there was the difference there, um, the seroprotection level was the same, or um, at least 90% or more of the children had seroprotective levels above 40 post-vaccination, regardless of their prior vaccination history. So what are the implications of your data for the current recommendation uh, by the CDC and by the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices to not use the LAI vaccine, at least in this season, because of um, what appeared to be inadequate protection, particularly against H1N1 strains in previous seasons, uh, influenza seasons. Uh, I guess our study basically shows that IIV does work well um, to boost response. Um, as all of our children in our study were vaccinated with IIV and we saw a very good response to that vaccine. Um, so not to worry that, that um, LAIV being pulled is leaving us with a, an inadequate vaccine, so. Yeah, I mean, I think the question is, is less, uh, it's partly what you say about the subsequent immunization in other years, but it's also a question of just getting kids vaccinated because for a lot of children and for their parents uh, or even for younger adults who are had anxiety about receiving an injection, and there are many people, including many healthcare workers, <laughs> who have that same degree of anxiety about, quote, getting a needle. Um, I think it's, it's going to be interesting to see what the impact is uh, on sure. influ influenza immunization rates with LAIV not being currently recommended for this particular season. I, I don't know we're going to see a significant fall off, as you say. <laughs> uh, no one ever suggested that it was that injectable vaccines would, would right. be inferior. <laughs> Uh, in fact, uh, you know, the data consistently has suggested that they are probably equivalent, mm -hmm. uh, but the outcomes in terms of influenza pre prevention, at least for H1N1, for reasons that are, I think, unclear to any of us at this point, have really been less than satisfactory. Uh, the flip side, of course, has been the fact that is the acceptability uh, of a non-injectable vaccine. So I think we will only know as the season wears on what the impact is going to be. And, uh, hopefully we'll have some data to explain why uh, the H1N1 component uh, of working, the yeah. live attenuated vaccine failed to perform so well in previous seasons. Mm -hmm. But I think the important message is to remind parents and other uh, and, and providers that even though the kids may, may be less happy and there may be a few more tears shed, sure. not, and not <laughs> just by kids, <laughs> by moms and parents and, mm -hmm. uh, and, and by healthcare workers, there may be a few more tears and a little bit more resistance, it's still really, really important to get these kids yep. vaccinated. Mm -hmm. uh, we continue to hear problems about influenza and, and complications of influenza, uh, even in otherwise healthy kids and healthy adults. Mm -hmm. So thank you for bringing this thank great you. data to our attention. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.